Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and it is time for another monthly Global Stampers video. It is a collab. We are doing fancy folds today. So if you are in the US and want to purchase any of the items that I am showing today, you can go to jeanpiersani.stampinup.net. I also encourage you to check out all the other stampers from across the globe. And again, I am your US representative along with my teammate, uh, Mimi Takahara, and she should be having one up here soon too. And so check out her video and all of the global stampers, you guys. They are amazing and they are from all over the world. And if you are from another country, but you're watching my video, say hello, let me know where you come from. And then also make sure if you do purchase um, from another country, go to that demonstrator as well if you don't already have one. So let's go ahead and get started. I happen to be using the Sweet Conversations. It is actually my online class um, stamp set bundle that we're gonna be uh, using. This video that I'm doing today is not one of the class projects. This is a separate one, but if you buy this bundle, you can attend my class online for free uh, as long as you purchase it from me and use this host code here. You could also do a, just a $50 minimum purchase. We'll also get you into that class, but this will be the stamp set we're using. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got the Sweet Conversations bundle. I'm going to just be using the stamp set today. I'm also going to be using the Highland Heather ink there. And then I've got some Blushing Bride. I've got the base, and that is cut at five and a half by six. And then it is scored at two and a quarter. And that is where you're going to get some of that fold in there. So it's not your typical folded right in half, but we're going to make this fun. I also am going to be using some Granny Apple Green, some basic white, and then I've got two pieces here of the Sweet Talk. They are not the same size. They are both five, let's see, five and a quarter, and then one is two inches, and the other one is one, let me double check, one and a half inches. And then that extra piece that we had right here, we're gonna be using that. I cut that down to one, one and a half. Well, let me, let me double check. No, this one's one and a quarter, and then scored at three. You could score it right in half if you'd like, but I wanted to use the longer piece here. And so we will go ahead and put this all together. We'll do our stamping first. And I'm gonna be using the Happy to Have You in My Life and the uh, Love You stamp. So let's go ahead. This first one, I'm cutting it pretty close. So I'm gonna have this Happy to Have You in My Life and hope I can get it on the first try. I'm gonna try and put it in the center as close as possible and then take out my little heart punch here and line that up right in there. I think we did okay. I do think we did okay there. So we've got that. And then we are going to, nope, I still need this guy out. I'm gonna set that to the side. And inside our white piece here, we're going to take, get that all inked up. We're just gonna put a, a love you right there. All right, so we've got that all done. And if you can tell, all my colors are coming from these hearts on here. So I'm gonna take the Granny Apple Green and we're gonna take the hearts punch again. We're gonna 
take that, and this one's the scallop. I'm gonna cut two of them, and you will see why. So we've got that there. And now we're gonna take this guy right here, the happy to have you in my life. And we're gonna get our multi-purpose glue. You could use um, your tape adhesive, but I like to use this, and I'll tell you why, is because you can get all the way to the edge, and then you can move it around if you need to. <laughs> so. You're gonna try and center it up the best as possible, of course, and then just lay it right flat. Fortunately, I don't need to move it around at all. So I've got that guy going right there. And now let's go ahead and put on our pieces. I do have my stamp and seal. I couldn't find my regular one, so we're just going to use the plus. And you can see they're double-sided. So I'm gonna take the larger one. Again, this one is the two inch one, and I'm gonna put it on this side here. And this is great, it's got all these different ways to say love. So I thought this would be the perfect stamp set to use for global, right? Now this is Seal Plus. So once it is down, it is not moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and be fairly careful with that and get it right to the edge. <laughs> you cannot see the white against the white. I think we did okay. Yeah, we did just fine. If you do have a little bit and you wanna cut it down, you could do that as well. So let's go ahead. This was last, was it last year that we did the, you got to get a trimmer when you signed up? Cause guess what? It's celebration, it just started yesterday. Get a little bit closer here. There we go, got rid of that little white strip there. Um, so yeah, celebration started. So for the next couple months, every $50 you spend, you are gonna get a free item. So we're gonna take that and that's where that's gonna go. And then we're going to take, there we go. Then we're gonna take this other piece and we're gonna put that right here, right in there. So I haven't put anything down yet, but as you can see, we are using um, the same exact paper and all the colors so you know that it's going to line up rather nicely. And the way I do this, I just look at my corners here, make sure that they are nice and lined up. And hopefully, as long as those are lined up correctly, you should get a nice, there we go. A nice little perfect there. And then we're going to take this piece and I am going to take my bone folder and put that down. We are going to use our um, seal plus on this one for sure. And we're going to seal the whole thing. Just that one side though, right? And we are going to line this all up first 
Make sure we get it all in there, lined up nicely. Yep, I'm just making sure where I want it to go. And then, I'm gonna push that against there and you've got this piece. All right, next I wanna make sure that this lines up nicely. So, and I will show you how I do this here. So once we get that, we're gonna want this here. But as you can see, it needs, it has a little piece there that we don't want showing. So I'm gonna take my scissors or my paper snips, if you will, and I'm gonna eyeball it, right? is working just a little bit here so if I put this down just like this oh look how great it looks but then when you open it that doesn't look that great right not at all so that's where we're gonna have this other one so now these two together sandwiched like this now looks rather well together and in place. So you could also do another one of these and have it on the inside if you'd like. However you want is the way you can uh, do that up. So let's go ahead and put this all together. Now that we know, I am going to use the Stamp and Seal Plus because I definitely want this guy to stay nice and in place and it still gives you plenty of room to write your greeting on there <laughs> you gotta be careful with that seal okay now that part is down I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to use the plus. And again, get this to where I want it to be. And don't push it down because if you push it down, it still has that tape everywhere. So now that I know where that tape's gonna go, I'm gonna put some more right on here. And you can add a little more if you'd like on here to get those edges, right? Then we're gonna line these guys up. This, you wanna make sure that you get these little guys all lined up. And look at how cute this little card is. Now, is that a fancy fold? <laughs> it's pretty fancy for me, because if you've seen my videos, I don't do a lot of fancy folds. So I think this is super cute. It's got all those colors. And I think the only thing we need to do, which I didn't do, is one, to burnish this guy down. And two, is to get out my take your pick tool and add some lovely little rhinestones on here. I'm gonna do a medium one and a little small one here, just like that. 
and then I'll do one more small one right down there. And that is a super cute Valentine's Day card. If you like this, please let me know. Give me a big thumbs up. And again, check out all the other Global Stampers. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. Have a great day. Bye.